Continue Google Cloud Data Flows last minute cheat sheet. We finish the data flows exam topics in the last four videos. Now let's do a comparison of data flow and data proc, both the data process servers from Google Cloud. Cloud Data Proc is recommended for existing Hadoop, Spark applications, or machine learning and data science ecosystem, or large batch jobs with Primbro VMs. Cloud Data Proc doesn't support the streaming process like Dataflow does. Data Proc does not natively connect to PubSub. But PubSub can use a single endpoint with the data flow to process the messages. And Data Proc requires a DevOps approach, but Data Flow is a fully managed service. Now let's take a look at the difference between data flow and data prep on data preparation, transformation, or cleansing. Data flow does not provide anomaly detection, data prep does. Data prep can be used to handle schema changes by data analysts without any programming knowledge, but through the GUI. Data flow requires programming knowledge on Apache Beam SDK. Data flow also accounts for a larger proportion of the exam like a big query, and you will see the questions on PubSub, data flow, and big query pipeline. Now let's use data flow's last minute cheat sheet to take a look at some sample PDE data flow questions. Please read the question first, pause the video and try to answer it yourself. Ready? I highlight the keywords of this question. Streaming pipeline for mobile game. Handle out of data delayed up to 15 minutes. And a per player basis. We can't use the single global window on per player basis. The question didn't mention any on prem Kafka messaging or specific messaging requirement. So the correct answer is A. Choose staging windowing with a minimum gap duration of 15 minutes and use PubSub as the message bus for ingestion. Wanted to try another one? Pause the video and read the question first. Ready? This question is very straight. User sessions time out after 30 minutes. So the correct answer is C. Let's take a look at another easy question. Pause the video if you need time to answer it. Ready? This question is similar to the previous one on user session timeout. So the correct answer is C. How about this one? Pause the video and try to answer it yourself. Ready for the answer? I highlight the keywords of this question. Write this to both BigQuery and Bigtable simultaneously. Minimum end-to-end -end latency to be completed as quickly as possible. You can use Apache Beam provide the Bigtable and BigQuery I.O. transforms to complete the pipeline quickly. So you don't need to use cloud storage as an intermediary loading the data from cloud storage to the BigQuery and Bigtable will increase the latency. So the correct answer is C. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.